Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and we have some big, massive news. So first off, we are getting a Valentine's Day select recruit. I doubted that they were gonna do anything for Valentine's Day because of when the global one year anniversary fell around, but they are doing something, so that is kind of cool. And then also, we have some global one year anniversary news. So very big stuff to talk about in this video. Make sure you stick around. So the first thing for this banner, when does it drop? It is going to be dropping February 11th, a little bit before Valentine's Day. And I'm assuming that is because the global one year anniversary starts the day after Valentine's Day on February 15th. So this recruit is going to be really good. It's going to feature pretty much all of the general pool female characters in the game. So you'll have a chance to pull pretty much any female character you are missing, including a Jire. So if you are lacking supports, this is your chance to pull a couple of supports. Now, the thing is, you might not want to summon on this banner if you are not a newer player. Like it'll have a lot of value for newer players, but for players that have been around for a while, the global one year anniversary banner is going to be so much better. Like I have seen the kits guys, I have seen the art and the characters for the one year anniversary are looking absolutely phenomenal. Like really, really good. So make sure you don't get baited by this banner if you have been around for a while. In addition to this banner, we are getting some item drop rate increases for hero base for main quest stuff like that times three times two coming up here in the future along with the global one year anniversary along with the valentine's day event so make sure you guys are taking advantage of these when they do pop up and then besides that we are also getting a couple of gifts we're getting the normal anime recruit tickets we're getting all these things right here some stamina but the important thing is we are getting hero gems times 100 as a special gift for Valentine's Day, and that will go from the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, until the 1st of March. So make sure you log in to claim your free 100 hero gems, which is really nice of them. And then we are also getting a Valentine's Day background. That background actually looks pretty sick. And this, once again, you can claim from the 14th of February to the 1st of March. Here's that background that you guys will be getting in game. It is a chocolate background and boy, does it make me hungry, especially when I've been on a diet, but that is a sick background and I actually really like the way it looks. So I am happy with it. One thing I do find kind of weird, they're doing a background for the Valentine's Day event, but no global one year anniversary background, at least as far as I know yet, unless they add it into the shop or an exchange or something, but yeah. So Valentine's Day background, make sure you're claiming it because you might not be getting one for the global one year anniversary. For the Valentine's Day select recruit that I showed you earlier, here is the pool of characters that you can obtain. You can get the green Ochako or Araka, you can get Su, Yayurozu, Chir Yayurozu, Jiro, Najire, Midnight, Mount Lady, both Togas, and Mirko. Like this banner is actually pretty pretty lit and you can exchange for all of them if you wanted to i don't think anybody's going to pity what is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven times if you go to pity eleven times you have a actual problem so yeah but once again you have to think about do you want to summon on this banner especially with the global one year anniversary right around the corner because this will be dropping before the global one year anniversary so be careful don't get baited. I would highly recommend waiting until you've done your pulls on the global one year anniversary banner because chances are you pull any of these characters while you're pulling for the new global anniversary units. So just keep that in mind. Additionally, Climax Battle is coming back. It starts on February 18th, so a little bit after the one year anniversary started, and it is going to go until March 3rd. This time it is all for one, so you have your chance to hopefully get close to getting all for one to level 130, or just get all for one for the first time if you didn't get him before. So nice that he's coming back, and that is exciting. It's always fun to grind out some Climax Battle, We'll see how it goes and if I can get mine to level 130 within this time frame. We also have a global version first anniversary recruit coming out alongside the character recruit for the future characters. This is going to feature a global one year anniversary memory 
that is like a limited memory that you won't be able to get again. We've had a similar thing with the JP 1.5 year anniversary and the JP 1 year anniversary. And so they are going to be giving us 30 free tickets for this banner. And then also you'll be able to spend hero gems on this banner after you've used the tickets. So it'll be nice. And it basically you have a chance to get any general pool URs for the most part, along with a chance to get the global version first year anniversary memory. And along with that memory, we are getting a free recruit ticket. And what this recruit ticket is going to be able to do, where do you get it? Well, by spending those tickets and spending hero gems on that banner, this is one of the exchange items. And if you spend enough, you can exchange for this. So while it's kind of good, it's kind of bad, but at the same time, it is a select recruit ticket. And the characters you will be able to get with that ticket are right here. You'll be able to get the red Deku, yellow Deku, blue Bakugo, Uraraka, the green Todoroki, yellow Todoroki, red Kirishima, Blue Yairozu, Yellow Aizawa, Green Hawks, Shigaraki, and All for One. Obviously, the biggest prize here is Aizawa. And then I would say either Green Todoroki, Blue Bakugo, or Red Kirishima. Yeah, or Green Hawks. Like, there's some decent choices here. So, it might be worth it to actually do enough summons on this banner to be able to get that ticket. But more than likely, you are going to be doing your summons on the Futured banner, which is going to be fantasy characters so we have a new destruction type fantasy ochako or araka coming to the game that is actually so hype i am so excited along with a new mind type kirishima fantasy kirishima coming to the game so that is really exciting now i have seen both their kits i have seen their art and let me just say they are looking phenomenal these are going to be the most broken characters in the game they are literally going to be so good guys so fantasy or Araka is going to be more of a crit support unit that's all i'm going to tell you in general for now if you want to know more about her kit if you want to know what her art is going to look like make sure you guys are subscribed because i will be going over that in a later video but she is going to be so so good literally broken she has low cooldown she is everything you want her to be like she is really really good and she is going to be more of a VE tower unit. I'll tell you that right now, based on what I've seen from her kit. While Kirishima is going to be more of a PvP unit. And he is also a somewhat support type character, which is interesting because it's different for Kirishima, right? But I'm not going to tell you guys too much about what it is. But yeah, it's going to be really, really cool when these guys come out. These are going to be must summon characters. So this banner is actually going to be so much hype. It is so, so so good now as far as additional fantasy characters will there be rerun banners as of right now the data mine says no so there probably will not be a rerun of Ida, of Todoroki or any of those guys anytime soon so just keep that in mind so don't be afraid to go all in on these banners now with that said could they do a part two maybe they could do a part two where they do rerun banners or they do rerun banners two weeks after i really don't know we haven't we're not going to get that data mine you know for another two weeks so it's hard to tell highly doubt they will do a part two considering every other anniversary has never had a part two i think this is just their general anniversary model that they're still following so don't expect a part two go all in on this banner these characters are literally going to be broken they're both very good they have good cooldowns both kirishima and uraraka she is a crit type support if that doesn't tell you enough like she's phenomenal for ve tower and then Kirishima is also just going to be really good in PvP. So make sure you guys are summoning for these characters. Let me know what part of this news you guys are most hyped for down in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thank you guys for watching. Peace!